Well, I went to uh, a, a store that sells mainly fixtures and tried to find a faucet that would work and th they don't carry that type of inventory where I would need a faucet with two holes. A faucet that would go into a countertop with two holes. They don't carry that because they only carry fancy stuff where there's one hole here and one hole there. One hole for the faucet, one hole for the sprayer or whatever. So I went to, um, so here's, here's the original junk that comes with this RV. And I'll show you just how much junk it is here in a minute. Okay. Um, this morning I did the, uh, I did the dish, you know, yesterday I, I took this whole thing apart, put it all back together and, uh, because we had to make coffee we had to take showers and couldn't do any of that with with open water lines so uh when i put it all back together i i was able to stop yep i was able to stop the drain leak so the flange problem is fixed but the faucet problem is far from fixed and what's going on now is it's even it's even uh, leaking now when we're not using it. So serious, you know, it's a serious problem in our RV. Uh, because this morning, when I got through with my dishes and everything, uh, I dried. I, I took the pan out. I dried everything up and put fresh, dry paper towels in there. And that was just. Uh, uh, let's see. Four hours ago four and a half hours ago so no nothing has been used in here in four and a half hours and now I've got water in the pan and it's going behind and under the pan so I got a problem here I gotta dry this up and then we're gonna replace this faucet with a residential type faucet now on this particular faucet they ran uh, I think they call this stuff plex yeah, pex and you have these uh, this type of screw on fitting there now I've seen a lot of faucets in the past day so I know that this is not the only way they do it they, they have some kind of a quick release gadget that you can get on a faucet and that's uh, you'd have to buy some sort of an adapter to use them so I'm thinking the more pieces you have in the puzzle the more chances you are gonna have to have a leak so um, we've cut the water off outside now the uh, both the water lines are disconnected now there's gonna be a nut underneath um, that I've got to release two of those and then we'll take the faucet out of the cabinet okay these are the nuts that go underneath the cabinet there and here is what the RV comes with now until just about an hour ago, I was going to really badmouth the RV industry for using such junk. I may still do that, but um, I went to uh, Lowe's and looked at a unit that was going to be um, possibly be able to be used in this situation if I drill a third hole here. It's the only way that I can see to do it right now because I can't find the inventory anywhere. And uh, I, I took a, a, a model of uh, a, a faucet from a particular company. It's a it's probably some store brand. I really don't know for sure. It was something I'd never heard of. It wasn't Delta, Pfizer, Moen, you know, any of the brand names that you're familiar with. It was something oddball. And it was about a $75 faucet. I took this... I took this plate off of it and the only difference between this RV model and that home model is that this is black it was the same design same deals o-rings and all that so uh, I put it back on the shelf I'm glad I looked at it I got the mowing of course it costs uh, a bit more I think this is a $120. It's about the same design as what's already there as far as the appearance of it. So here's the mowing. And as you can see, there's no PVC, plastic, 
O-rings, nothing in there that's going to uh, melt and all that, I hope. Well, we gotta take care of the heater issue anyway. The only O-ring that's, uh, that's exposed for now is gonna be this one right here, and it goes to your, um, your sprayer, which is gonna lead me to have to cut uh, another hole in here. But uh, this is the this is the test here, you know. It's gonna the spread's correct. I've just got to cut another hole in the middle. Then if I want to use the sprayer, I'll put a uh, I'll probably put a hole over here for my sprayer. So um, what we've got to do now is. Uh, mark a hole and you can see I've already actually started it. This is that faux uh, false granite. Looks like granite but it ain't plastic type stuff. Um, what I did, uh, I took their base plate and centered everything up best I could and then kind of eyeballed it with a pin. Uh, made a cross there in the middle. Took the faucet dropped it down and made sure that that little fitting hit hit that cross all right then uh, I've got this uh, Linux I think it is let's see here package where's package it's inside the box Porter cable it's made for wood and PVC um, the drill bit started cutting in there immediately. So let me go ahead and try to drill this without making too big a mess. And then we'll drop this faucet down in there. Then I want to figure out where I want my spray hose to be. Well, now that the hole is drilled, um, I've installed the neck, if you will. I don't know what to call the thing. And I just ran into my first problem. Of course. You see, these fit in those holes to a certain point. There's a neck right there at the top. I need a little bit more clearance. I, I went uh, to my shop and picked up this, I don't know what you call it, maybe a burr a rasp whatever it's made for wood um let's see so i had to enlarge each hole on the outside from uh really that was probably an inch a one inch hole and it should have been at least an inch and a quarter this hole that i cut was an inch and a half so i checked it for leaks underneath the uh, drain doesn't leak and the supply lines aren't leaking now why did I not install that that's your spray nozzle that's supposed to go up here well when they installed this uh, sink and counter the sink flange actually goes way out here and they cut the sink flange like this so underneath there's really no good place to put uh, to be able to mount that uh, for right now I can go in there probably with a Dremel tool when I get my Dremel I can get my Dremel tool and go underneath and make a spot a little bit bigger right here and then put it over here but I'm just not sure I'm gonna do it I may actually contact mowing and see if they make a uh, a plug that I can quick connect into that base uh, fitting because I really don't need with this swivel high doohickey here I, don't, I really don't need one more thing to possibly leak you know and I'm good to go but I like it it's way better than what was there it looks very similar to what was there so it's not off it matches the appliance, you know, the appliances. So uh, we're good to go. Just know if you're going to do it, you're going to need to enlarge some holes and possibly drill at least one extra hole. Check before you start drilling 
in the top here look underneath and make sure you're not going to be drilling into something that you shouldn't got any questions hit me up below thanks for watching bye